fear, anxiety, stress, what if it's only a story? How much we minimize our life in order to maintain the fear as a true story? Waking up with Sharona, talk show. A groundbreaking conversation for anyone willing to expand the field of possibilities. Would you like to live a greater life? Asking how? Listen to this enthusiastic conversation. And you will know too. Okay, my name is Sharona Hadar Khouri and I'm a certificate facilitator of Access Consciousness. And um, this conversation is a part of a, of a talk show that we are going to take, uh, we are going to talk every uh, Wednesday at this time in your country. <clears throat> and in Israel, it's in uh, eight o'clock. So actually, as I said before, this call is waking up call. And you choosing to be with us here, it means that you are helping all the rest of the people in the world <clears throat> to change and shift uh, areas in their life which are really hard for them, okay? So you participating in this call is really a contribution to everybody. So that's why I asked you to be with your cameras. I'm sorry that I could see with whom am I speaking to. And though I'm doing it almost, you know, every day, I just finished facilitating for eight hours no, now. No, this conversation with you guys is really exciting me. So I'm sorry that I'm not really uh, uh, sharp at the moment. It's going to happen in a few more minutes. So we are going to talk about fear and what it, if fear is only a story, okay? So I'd like you guys, even from Finland, are people with us. Thank you. So I, I like you guys to um, to collaborate with me, and I'm going to ask you questions. And if you will allow yourself to receive, okay, I'm going to do facilitation here that will help yourself and all the rest, okay. So when you are talking about fear, okay, where does it hit you in your body? Fear. Who wants to join me? Where does it hit you in your body when you talk about fear? Yes. Does it hit your body or your body is not all is not uh, responding to fear? Francesca, in your belly. Who's that? Wendy. In your chest. What about you, Linda? Unmute yourself and let's talk. I can see you me. <laughs> Unmute yourself. I want to talk with you. I'm choosing you. Would you like to speak with me? Good. On my knees. On your it's knees. It's feeling wiggly in my knees. Okay. So whenever some feelings hit our body, it also means that it's not the first time. Okay. First of all, because um, our body is actually an energy, as you all know, okay? And energy is like a radio, which always receives information, okay? And if the same information repeats in the same area, okay, and we didn't do anything or we didn't listen to this information, it gets stuck there, okay? So basically, is it really fear? Let's ask your needs, okay? So what we're going to do, I'm gonna do it with Linda, but you can do it with yourself, okay? So I would like to offer you, Linda, to take a, a big breath, a deep breath. Close your eyes. We are going to dive into your knees, okay? And I want you to um, allow yourself to just be there. Witness the energy that you sense in your knees without been a part of it, okay? Just stay there as a, as a witness, okay? And let, I'm gonna ask you a question and see if something rising up, okay? Some awareness you perceive, okay? I'm gonna ask you, what are you resisting? What did you resist receiving with the pain in your knees that you created? What are you resisting to receive? 
Uh, you asked what what, what uh, where the fear was uh, f uh, pointed in my body, not not the pain. Okay. What if I'm not saying what if every fear that is stuck in your body create afterwards a pain, right? So let's go to the knees, and even if even if it's not painful at the moment, thank you <laughs> that you are you probably smart enough not to create fear out of it yet but if you want to shift it you have to ask a question okay because you said knees okay so let's let's ask you knees what do they remember and usually it's not a remember that you want to have otherwise it, it wouldn't be stuck there okay so i'm going to ask you again truth what are you resisting receiving with your knees Concerning fear, uh, being put down on my knees. Uh, being push. put down. Push. Okay, and uh, also when you write me, you're resisting to receive yourself, right? Okay. So basically, if we will start talk to the molecules of our body, stuff will start to shift. Okay. So truth, have you ever been made to? to go down on your knees in this, yes. in this lifetime? Uh, also. Okay. So what value do, did you receive by going down on your knees with this situation? What value did, it, did you receive? Uh, no value. Um, it was like giving up. Okay, so what, value, so what value did you give, give, what value did you receive giving up? Truth. See, darling, nothing happens in your life that you didn't get value out of it. And you'll see that the value is a stupidity, okay? We're going to destroy and uncreate it soon. But mm -hmm. truth, what value did you receive by giving up? Uh, don't um, be made smaller than I felt on that time. Mm. Okay, so everything that is time is time a godzillion that you're willing to destroy and create. Yeah. Right, wrong, with a bad pocket pot, online shorts, voice beyond. To people that don't know access, don't be worried. It's going to affect you all, even if you don't understand it, okay? Access consciousness is a method that um, allows you to hear the voice of truth and allows you to dis discharge the lies that attach to it, okay? So, Linda, it's not going to be easy. I'm not going to make it easy out of you, but you chose to join me and you remember me, right? So I know <laughs> you, so come on, let's play. <laughs> so, you know, that not, I'm not going to give up on you, okay? So whenever, so whenever you were persuaded, giving up, give, give value to your life, okay? instead of choosing to be you and receive more out of you, are you willing to destroy and create? Yes. Thank you. Right wrong with a bad pocket for all nine shorts, voice beyond. Now, darling, you have to understand one thing. Everything that actualizes in your life, you ask for it. Okay. So actually, nobody put you on your knees but you. Mm -hmm. And the person that you gave him the job to do that, you gave him the job to do that, is not the one to blame. Now, I'm not blaming you. I'm just, I just want you to take the responsibility that everything that happens in your life is a choice that you've chosen. Okay, even something like that. So truth, is it still value for you to give up on you? No. So everywhere you persuade yourself that giving up is a way of survival, mm -hmm. but not flourish and enjoy and have more fun and orgasmic life, are you, are you willing to destroy and create? Yes. 
Thank you. Right from Gulliver Pocketbook, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. And I'd like you to go back to your knees. Close your eyes. Just try to go deep into your knees. Take a deep breath. And ask yourself, do you sense the same sensation as you felt before? Truth? No, they are dancing. Ah, how does it get better than that? Thank you very much, Linda. So this, is a, this was an example of what we are going to do in this conversation. Every week I'm going to rise an idea, okay? Any question or something that can shift our life. And that the, the brave people that will join us will enjoy <laughs> my facilitation to shift it, okay? So you, Linda, you are the first, so thank you very much. So what, so, what, <laughs> so what if our fears is only a story, okay? So Ingrid, what did you receive out of your fear in your chest? What did you receive? Can you unmute yourself? Yes, Ingrid, I'm with you. Okay. What did you receive? What kind of value did you receive holding the fear in your chest? It's um, contraction. Ah. So you feel con contraction? Yeah. Please go deep into this con contraction. Anyhow, the thing that I did with Linda shifted a little bit something with you? Yeah. Or, you still, or you still stuck with the contraction? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's more. Uh, I, was, I was starting to do facilitation to you, and then I received everything is cheated already. <laughs> so you don't need to do and work on it again. So thank you. <laughs> that was funny. You are in Holland, and I'm here, and I perceived that you shifted. Did you perceive that you shifted, and then you have more space? Yeah, I don't feel it. So. Oh, amazing you, amazing you. Thanks a good billion, thank you. So you can unmute yourself again, <laughs> you and I can go forward in our conversation. Anyone still sense the density or the pain in this area? Or do you all have more space, less space, or the same? Just tell me, you have more space, Francesca, more winding? Amazing. So this is the way access work, you know, if you, are willing to see that there is no me and you, there is us. When I'm working with Linda and processing Linda, if you are willing to receive it, okay, you receive it anyhow, okay? So you got my full attention, even if I'm not speaking directly to you, okay? So basically, you realize, Linda, and all of you, that all the fear that hit you in your body is a story. But we have to go to another phase to realize that fear is a lie, okay? We have to realize what fear creates in our body, okay? So Francesca, please, will you share with me, when you are afraid, what kind of sensation you have in your body? Um, what kind of sensation? Uh, my heart's beating. Um, yeah, I'm going through a very anxious time at the moment, De okay. depressed, anxious since the last couple of weeks. So I have it more now. Okay. Uh, so like real panic. Uh, okay. My heart beats fast. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm out of my body. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So first of all, thank you for joining us. And I'm really happy, yeah. I'm really happy that this conversation is directly uh, going to speak to you. And I hope it's going to be a contribution to you. Okay? Yeah, the, the, the last with Linda already gave some relief on my... You asked, where, where do, you, do you feel it? I felt it on my chest and my heart was beating immediately. Oh, and yeah, it was feeling uh, less... Uh, uh, anxious. Um, Amazing. And we, yeah. just, we just started. Maybe <laughs> it's coincidence, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe it's coincidence? Fuck no. Uh, yeah. You're going to no. say, you're going to say, yeah, whatever. No, no coincidence. No, I know. Okay. 
everything you ask for, you will receive, my darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, I know. That's so, one thing I learned last year. <laughs> so, so, first of all, uh, Francesca, whenever you feel more space, you should repeat after me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is me. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> say, this is me. This is me. How does it get any better than that? How does it get any better than that? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is me. What else is possible? Okay. Because you have to, to, to pay attention and to notice every shift. Otherwise, your stupid mind going to keep, continue and tell you all the stories. And you, you know, stupidly think that it's real. Yeah. Whenever you feel the space, please give it a second and say, wow. Everybody repeats after me. Come on, Linda. Wow. Wow. This is me. This is me. What else is possible? What else is possible? Okay. So let's educate ourselves. Okay. What does it mean to be afraid? Okay. So first of all, Francesca, you said that whenever you are afraid or feel anxiety, your heart starts to work faster, right? And sometimes, and sometimes you sense that you are like, ah! right? You lose your breath. Yeah. Second, thinking, uh, thinking really yeah. fast, you don't know what to do, and yeah, sometimes yeah. you even sometimes your stomach even like uh, uh, been started to be like a, a, a knot, you know, like a mm -hmm. con like contracted, right? Okay, so I want to ask you another question. I want you to feel a, to tell me what do you feel. Just people, please buy yourself on mute that we're going to be. Is it a boy in your room, Francesca? A boy and a girl. <laughs> Please ask him. If they want to join us, fine. But if it's okay for them, just for these two seconds, just to be quiet. That you yeah, but they, they're sitting in the living room and they're watching TV, football. Uh, and my mom is there. And uh, so, and I'm sitting in the place where I sleep, but it, there's no wall no. in between so i i, I can't put it on mute 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 but I put the, the kids on mute sometimes i have five of them sometimes yeah. i put them on mute yeah. <laughs> that 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 would be uh, great <laughs> no, but they're talking very soft very soft so can you imagine that you still hear it yeah, so it's i don't have, hear them we have a really good uh, sound here anyhow i want to ask you another question please can you share with us what do you feel in your body, not in your mind, when you are excited? Truth. What do you feel in your... Like gl glad. Okay, glad, right? The but do you all... Yeah, you the same. The sh you see? The heartbeat, yeah. Ah, yeah. so maybe it is all a misunderstanding, my love. Okay, what if, okay, the <laughs> <laughs> in your body, my love, is, I'm so putting you on mute because the noise is, okay? What if the sensation that you sense in your body, okay, it's actually a very healthy and very uh, a natural hormone called adrenaline, okay? So what if once, when you are a baby or really, really small girl, or maybe in another lifetime, you were so excited and you ran to your mom and said, Mommy, please come and see something new. And your mommy was saying, be careful not to fall. Be careful. You heard it more than once, okay, that your mind connected it to danger. So whenever the excitement came up from something new, okay, the connection called synapse in your mind told you, be careful, okay? It's dangerous. And then you misidentify and misapply excitement as fear. What if fear, what if fear is just a story that you might keep telling you and you know why? It's not because that our mind is our enemy. It's because our mind has only one job, okay? To help us survive. 
And he deals only with being survivor, to be a survivor here. So he wants to control every shift and every change in order to help you survive it. But what it's really and actually is doing is holding you back. Because when you are afraid, you are shrinking back. So let's tell the story from another point of view. Something, something new comes to your life that you ask for it. And it wants to actualize in your life. And the energy, the awareness of you, because you're always connected to a larger awareness, come and tell you, darling, something new, a gift coming towards you, please take it. But your stupid mind say, be careful, it's new, you can't control it. Okay? So the minute something that you receive is something that you ask for, which is always bigger than what you ask for, comes to your life, instead of embracing it, and asking, oh, thank you. How did you get any better than that? Okay. You are closing yourself from receiving the gift from the world that you asked for it. Okay. So, but this is not the only problem. The other problem, okay, that the adrenaline shift, the adrenaline boost that your body gives you in order for you to receive something new and handle it, okay, extra power to enjoy it and to, 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 to have it is suppressed by the fear. And this is what kills people from corona. They are not dying from corona. Most of them were healed from the coronavirus. But then something happens to their body and the body collapses. And why it collapses? Because most of your life you live with high Tense and this high tense of adrenaline, of excitement from something new that always keeps coming because life is shift and life is changing all the time. Okay, the adrenaline keeps coming and keeps coming, and you, and I'm saying with your stupidity, it doesn't mean that you are stupid. Okay, Francesca, what with the, your stupidity mind, okay misidentify, misapply is adventure. And you, you keep your energy level, the adrenaline level is so high, okay, that the moment that the corona is finished and the body realizes that it doesn't need to fight it, it collapses. So I want to ask you, my darling Francesca, what value do, do you receive? What value do you receive? from believing the true story of your fears. What value did you receive? When you are believing, you believe that the fear and the anxiety is real. That, I'm, that, I'm, that I'm unworthy? Unworthy? Ah, that you are unworthy. Okay? Is it real that you are unworthy? No. Who does, that, who, does that, who does that belong to? The unworthiness. Is it, is it yours? No. Oh. So I it know that. it, but it's a feeling, you know? I want to wait. Not feeling? good enough. Not Daddy? good enough. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do some order here, okay? Feeling is not in your heart. Emotion is not in your heart. Feeling and emotion are the disguised, disguised agent of your mind, okay? Because the job of feeling is to hold the past. But is it your past that you are not worthy? Prove. So are you willing, okay, to send it back to the sender with consciousness attached? And everywhere you persuaded yourself that this is real, this is me, the feeling is real. Instead of asking, what the fuck, if it's not mine, why do I need to believe that it's true? Okay? So everywhere you used fear as an excuse 
to prove that you are not worthy in this world, are you now willing to destroy and create? Yes. Thank you. Right your mom, good or bad, pocket phone, all night shorts, boys and beyond. So what if you misidentify, misapply fear as an excuse not to be greater? And it, does it still have value that is important to you? It has a value to hold it. Truth. Yes or no? Yes. Yes? So you have value holding to the fear in order to prove that no. you are not worthy? No, no. Ah. There is no, no real value, of course. So everywhere, okay? You misidentify and misapply fear as an excuse yeah. to show the world how much you are not worthy, okay? Are you now yeah. willing to, are you now willing to destroy and create? Yes. Thank you. Right wrong, good or bad, fucking for all night shorts, boys and women. Please, all of you together with me, we're gonna use an energy which is I'm sorry, I'm saying I'm sorry, but I'm not really apologizing, okay? But we are going to destroy and create all this misidentified, misapplied fear as something real, okay? So I'm going to do the clearance with me. It's a new clearance of access consciousness. People that don't know the language of access, don't worry, okay? Just close your eyes and allow yourself to receive. And afterwards, tell me, do you receive more space, less space, or the same, okay? Okay, so don't be worried if you don't know the access language. It works anyhow. It's a great tool to go beyond your mind. And if you want to learn, you know, and to receive access more, you have Wendy here, beautiful Wendy here. With it. They have bath class. You also have Penke. I don't know if there's more people that uh, create bath classes, but join them, okay? Afterwards, come to me to foundation. So what we are going to do right now okay, is to freck. And I'm going to do the clean, clearance and then I'm going to explain it, okay? So please, Francesca, if you really want to be, out create your fears, join me, okay? So I want you to close your eyes and take all of your fear and anxiety. Okay? okay? Please, all of you, put your cameras. I want to see you, okay? I miss you guys all. Okay, so put in a, like a balloon, like a bubble in front of you. All your anxieties, fears, stories, feeling, everything. Put it in a bubble in front of you, okay? Just stack it all there, all this stupidity, all this pain, all this misery, all this pain in your body. Put it in a bubble in front of you, okay? Now take a deep breath, just listen to what I'm doing, okay? We're going to frack the insanity that you created as reality, believing that it's true and real for you, okay? So with me, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Just take a deep breath and tell me, do you have more space, less space, or the same? Truth. Wendy, how are you? Francesca, Linda, how are you guys? And I'm asking you to, do, to close your eyes while I'm doing the clearance because I look totally crazy. I don't care, right? But I am, so please close your eyes when I'm doing the clearances and it will help you receive more. So, do you have more space? Less space or the same? Every answer is fine, okay? Francesca, how are you? Proof. Yeah, it felt good. Good? good. I, I got a little, uh, uh, like, no, um, steak here, uh, like... In my chest area, like a. Okay. Yeah. And then it left again after the. Good. So, how does it get any better than that, right? Yeah, I don't so know. What? I don't know. I don't know. 
So now, my darling, can you say, wow, this is me, what else is possible? Wow, this is me, what else is possible? Good on you, girl. So next time, okay, when you feel the fear and anxiety knock on your door, you can say, shut the fuck up if you want, okay, and what else is possible. And you can also ask the question of what, am, what excitement am I refusing to receive with the fear I'm creating? Because it's not a fear, it's an excitement of something yeah. new. So tell me, my darling, do you still feel fear and anxiety? Fruit? Less, less. That's good. I have okay. to admit, yeah, but, but it was very high, the highest okay. possible. And now, oh. and now when it's impossible, how is it now? Uh, yeah, lower, it's better. It's, it's, it's less fearful, more trust. Good. So what if you allow it, okay, to extend? What's the worst case scenario that will happen, happen in your life if you allow this trust? Expand right now, truth. What's the worst case that can happen, that could happen, if you allow yourself to trust more? Truth, what is it? The worst thing, I don't know. What do you know? What the worst thing that will happen if you allow yourself to trust more? The worst thing. That's the worst thing. <sighs> Yeah, I can't imagine a bad thing, you know, okay. that can happen. <laughs> Only good things can happen then, I guess. What, uh, Francesca, if there is no good and bad, but when you are not willing to trust yourself more, okay, when you are not willing to trust yourself more, you shrink your life, okay, to minimize, yeah, know. minimize your life. So what... So your play for this week till Wednesday, okay? And asking every day, okay? How much more trust I'm willing to receive? First of all, how much more trust I'm not willing to receive? How much more trust I am willing to receive? And let's see how this week will go with you. So I have to ask myself that every day? Every day. Okay. And receive the awareness, okay? Receive the awareness. And every awareness you receive, you say, every, every definition, every resistance that created this, I'm willing to destroy and create. Okay? For, for, the, for the question with the no and for the question with the yes. Same. Because every definition that you have doesn't allow you to perceive and be more than that. Okay? So other people here, I only see Yvonne. So Yvonne, can we speak? So Wendy, do you have more space, less space, or the same? More space, of more. course, yeah. Do you remember how much fear was uh, your friend, your friend in your past life? Yeah. Mm. So how does it feel to see what you already achieved? Mm -hmm. Yeah to be greater every day and I'm playing with all kind of energies all day yeah amazing amazing yeah. you're not afraid of it anymore right no I have to put put myself out there I'll go out of my comfort zone and just go yeah just with all, all those stories I it isn't real it's just the projection of other people um and now I'm uh, being greater and greater every day, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. What if you lose the other words, you know, that in excess we are not using words that not empowering us to be greater, right? Yeah. So tell me the truth. Is there, is, is there real, is there anything real with comfort zone? No. So will you stop using this yeah. stupid term? Yeah, it's but just this, an explanation from my um, from a year ago. Okay, so leave the past in the past. Yeah. Let's not use the past, okay, as a reference point mm -hmm. for the future anymore. Okay, we create 
our future from the future, not from the past. So when you listen to your fears, okay, you actually listen to your past. You listen to the voice of your mind that wants to leave the past in its place in order to control you. Mm -hmm. None of us like to control, to be controlled, right? No. So because we are, don't like to be controlled, we always, our uh, default, okay, our working system is to resist it. And when you resist something, okay, it's called the, uh, uh, um, the law number three of Newton. When you resist something, the other side has to resist back at the same amount and even more. So when you resist your mind, you create it. Yes. So it's not actually your mind job, okay? It's you by resisting it. And what we do in Access is to allow you to be both sides. So one of the words that you shouldn't use anymore is comfort zone. Because what if comfort zone is just an excuse? not to be more excited and more vivid and more alive and more orgasmic in this life. And is it really scary to go out of your comfort zone? Uh, uh, at first, yeah. Yeah, and now? And now, not, not anymore. Because no. the moment you step out, yeah. is no real fear. Just that... The second, you know, the now second before you step out, you believe your stories. Mm -hmm. So everywhere you made your fears real and true and valuable to your life, it's now the time to tell them to shut the fuck up yes. okay, and embrace yourself to be greater and ask what else is possible here. Because my darling Francesca, what if every problem that you create in your body with the fear and the anxiety that you created and you've chosen to be, it's actually a possibility that you didn't allow yourself to see, know, acknowledge, and receive. Hmm? So I want you guys, all of you, look at the thing that you are afraid the most, okay? Look at the thing that you are afraid the most and ask yourself, what excitement did I refuse to receive here? What possibility was there that I refused to see? And now, are you choosing to see and receive it? Truth? What do you say? Are you willing to look at this possibility and allow yourself to be excited from it? What do you say? Mm. So are you with me? And is it that it makes sense that all the fears that we believe that you know all the governments and in you know, all the world try to persuade us that the corona is real and we need to be afraid out of it. Now you realize that it's only a way to try to control you. So what if you ask your body what your body knows? What your body knows and what your body aware of that because of your fears, you didn't allow your body to give you this information that would shift your life. So everywhere, my darlings, that you, that you perceived, okay, or understood <laughs> that fear is real, are you now willing to destroy and create it? Thank you. Right in one good and bad, cock and pot, all nine shorts, points and beyond. So guys, do you have more space, less space, or the same? Truth, from the moment we start our conversation almost an hour ago. More space or less space? So all of you, wow, this is me. What else is possible? 
Okay? So thank you guys. I think it was a wonderful first call. Okay? If I didn't uh, too much, uh, if I didn't uh, make you afraid of me, <laughs> and you'd like to continue and create more change in life, join us on next Wednesday at the same hour. I will be here. I don't know what we are going to talk about because every Wednesday I'm asking what contribution can I be for you guys? And I just perceive the energy of it. So I will let you know what we are going to talk about next time, okay? But please join us. And if you can help us and co-create this conversation with more people, invite more people to enjoy with us the freedom from our point of view and mind and resistance, you are co-creator with me. So thank you guys very much. Uh, Sharona, wait. Uh, Linda does have a question. Ah, okay. Sorry. Yes. I'm sorry to uh, interrupt you, but... Oh, it's okay. What question did you write or you want to ask? Okay. So unmute yourself. My children are coming home from the soccer training. So <laughs> I try to uh, do it with less uh, words um i asked what uh, how you can uh, how do you say it in english um feel the difference between uh, anxiousness and feeling that something is heavy so you don't want to choose it but to um yeah, talk to not access people, you explain it as uh, anxiousness. Okay. Let me just say, I, I, I want to say that I understood you when you say anxious is like from anxiety, right? Yes. So are afraid of something, okay? That sometimes uh -huh. afraid of it's something, you feel heavy, okay? This is what... No, it, for me, it feels heavy. But when I uh, explain it to my partner or to my children, I'm, yeah, they don't understand when I say it's heavy for me, so I don't choose it. Um, mm -hmm. So you say, um, it makes me afraid or it uh, doesn't feel f uh, nice. Um, yeah, you, you give it a different name for others and not for yourself. It's not anxiety for me it's more it's heavy for me okay so first of all it's very easy for kids to explain as, as as you know i have five kids of my own five daughters okay so first of all when you talk with your kids okay ask them what do you sense when you say the truth okay when you say the truth right it's light you feel light right so whenever you feel something is a lie, it always creates heaviness in your body, okay? So this is the difference between heavy and heavy and light, okay? Truth and a lie. But you know what I'm using in order for manipulate my people, my family, to do something that I know that will work better for all of us? I'm just saying, darling, it's going to create much more for us if we are not going to choose that. Okay, that's, that's, that's. <laughs> okay, okay, because one thing you need to understand, you don't need to understand anything because understand is going under them, okay? When you try to explain to them something, something you are in this frequency and they are in this frequency. So when you, you are, and it's not high or low, but it's a different frequency, okay? So when you try to explain something to them, you have to go to their frequency in order to match, okay? So at that moment, you lose your magic. Mm -hmm. That's why in access we say, just for me, just for fun, never tell anyone, okay? So don't try to explain never, because when people go into understanding, they are automatically in resistance, okay? So just go, my darling, I perceive that it will be creating much more for all of us. And, you know, when I'm saying it to my husband, he said, can he argue with this? He can't argue with this because if it's in my sensation that it will create more for all of us, he will give it a try, okay? So never explain, okay? 
always out create and allow yourself to manipulate them. Manipulation is not something bad. If you create something that will create more for all of us and talk about manipulation, it's an all hour. Okay, so maybe it's going to be the next conversation. I don't know. But you have to um, be aware, okay, that manipulation is the language of the universe. Because whenever you breathe, you do manipulation on your body. Whenever you exhale, okay, you do manipulation of the air here. Okay, so manipulation is something true. It's something uh, which is basically and natural for all of us. Okay, so allow yourself to manipulate your family on your behalf. Because you, <laughs> because you know, okay, you, you put up the question in something, when you perceive that it's heavy for you, and you will do it anyhow, okay, you kill yourself, you kill the trust, okay? So when you go baby step with access tools in the beginning, one of the imp most important thing is being 100% following the energy of truth of true, okay? What is true for you, okay? Did you perceive? Did you receive? Yes, I, I perceive. <laughs> I, 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 um, I had something going on with my husband yesterday uh, over a job hopping and uh, the, the, the new company who, who wants to hire him uh, feels very heavy for me. So I told him that and um, it felt like I was manipulating his choice to not doing it. But now when you say um, manipulating is not a negative, um, yeah, that the, 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 I, will the, you, I will give the you coin something. is falling down. <laughs> Good. Good. But I will give you a few more questions to ask, okay? Because as you said before, heavy and light, sometimes uh, Sometimes, okay, basically, you know, in the beginning, you, you perceive a lot of uh, heavy when you resist receiving, okay? So I'm going to give you uh, more advanced questions, okay? You can ask, if we choose that, okay, if my husband will choose that, will it create more for us, more lightness, more ease, more space, more money, more fun? and then receive the energy. If the energy is still heavy, do any manipulation you can in order to, to make him go to the choice that will create more for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew that too also already, so I did that also. <laughs> so thank you very much for being so vulnerable and allow yourself to show your fears out and allow yourself to expose the life. And so this was uh, the first call of Waking Up with Sharona. And I'm inviting you all to join us every Wednesday at the same time, okay? And please invite more people to join us. And I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you, thank you very much. You put a smile back on my face. I enjoy speaking English. And I didn't speak the English for more than a year, so really, really, I'm grateful for you. Thank you. Bye-bye. How does it get any better than that? Did you like the talk? You are more than invited to listen to past talks and receive information about all the upcoming classes that will allow you to receive much more and beyond. What if everything is possible? What would you choose now? Thank you. Hope to see you live soon. Bye-bye.